Welcome to Robot Glasses. This is level... 2-5. Kill the tentacle. Defeat the enemy. Okie dokie then. The alien breed is growing and growing. They keep taking over our good soldiers. Thank you, you rescued me last time. But this time we have to destroy the infected base for the greater good. How are they infecting robots anyway? A, an organic thing controlling a robot. Just like that doesn't make much sense. Oh no! He's got my guy. The good thing is when the tentacle grabs you guys, it just kills them. It doesn't turn them into more enemies. Which would be thoroughly unpleasant. Oh, and this is our special armor. It starts from the very beginning. You don't have to buy it or anything, which is fortunate. Unfortunately, though, as you can tell, there's no description. So there's really no way to tell what it does. I'd click the Achievements button to see what there is, but it will probably bring me to an external website. So yeah, the tentacle is all up in my base, killing my dudes. There we go, the special... As you note here, it looks like two of the captain stars, and it makes them look weird. Not sure how to describe it. It looks kind of like a Hellgast helmet. He grabbed my guy! Well, that was useless. I get all ready to show you the frickin' special armor, and the tentacle kills him immediately. That's fantastic. Tentacle monster juggernauts. What is this, an anime? Let's wait on the freeze gun. Acid gun is definitely my favorite weapon, if we haven't been over this. It's the... S yeah, it's on par with the slowest weapon. Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. Let's give you a spray gun and uh, another thing. Let's see how these guys work out. As far as the what order to get the upgrades, I generally get one of each. Oh. Well, my acid gunner guy did not last long at all. But yeah, I generally get one of each upgrade first. And then I start to add more. And then I start to level them up. Either that, sort of an either or of that, and upgrading whatever's cheapest. Which is also a fair enough strategy. You know, it all depends on what weapons you want and what level of armor you're satisfied with. But generally, I like to have as much stuff to throw out as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is to get one level in everything first. Because the time between spawns really does not decrease that much. It's less than 50%. Which, it's less than 50%, and it's like a thousand times, literally, as much, um, as much cost. Which, when you have the free resources and you have nothing better to spend it on, it's just fine. But as long as you can buy a new weapon, you really should. And let's give a freeze gun to special dude. Let's hope he kicks a major butt. Hey, stop freezing me! I will kill you. Yeah. Take that. One thing I would recommend is focusing on the snipers, because if you can, you can use the snipers to keep your enemies at bay, you can get people to attack forward, and the sniper is basically free hits because he's way beyond what they can do to hit. So I definitely recommend sniper rifle. Or no. Acid gun first, as the best weapon, then sniper rifle, then, I guess, the freeze gun. I don't honestly like the freeze gun all that much. And the shotgun, I really don't, tip I don't particularly care for. The range is really important, and the shotgun doesn't do that very well. So I sort of prefer the spray gun as the go-to weapon. 
because it's really cheap and it's gonna hit stuff and it's got better range than the shotgun here. So you can see he gets really freaking close and if you have to get close you're gonna get killed. And the freeze gun is just stupidly expensive. Very unlikely to work well, honestly. There we go. Yeah, it's just too unreliable of a weapon. Yay. One minute per juggernaut. I guess we can try this uh, deflagration. I'm pretty sure that he meant to do uh, disintegration, but I actually do think deflagrate technically works in that. Um, what you call it? In that situation. I'd have to look it up, but... I think that actually means kind of what he meant there. The alien signal has led us to this forgotten old planet, once known as the Fire Prison. It just became an old, rotten planet. We found an abandoned outpost, period. Make it quick so we can move on. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure what he means there. We found an abandoned outpost. Make it quick. Make the outpost quickly. Because we found it abandoned. So you must make it into... I don't know. The creator's watching this. I don't... I don't mean to be absolutely horrible about the English and stuff. It just really does improve the experience of the game if you make sure everything is all logical and concise and makes sense. It's always good because, you know, if it's just the story, not to say just the story, but if it's story stuff, we can usually figure out what you mean and it may not matter that much. Not that you want to ruin the story by having no one understand what's going on, but when it's gameplay stuff and you can't figure out what certain stuff does, that's really bad. Like the rocket salve. I had no idea what that was until I used it, and I had to use it for more than a whole level to even figure out what it does. I did notice that rockets started flying out of the sky, but I thought it was a misspelling of slave, and I had no idea what the hell a rocket slave was. So I was, like, looking for a unit to spawn at my base that was, like, some sort of guy in gimp gear with rockets strapped to his chest or something. And that's pretty much just a product of my disturbed mind, but I had, nothing, I had no idea what the hell to expect, to be blunt. But one thing to note about the rocket salvo is that it only hits the um, the uncovered places here, so it can never hit the base. And generally there's like 50% of the battlefield that's blocked off, as you can see on this map here. So it's not, in my opinion, it's not very good unless you really need the, def the defense, which I am not big on defense. Which is ironic because it's a defense game, but it's also an offense game. And that is my preference, if not specialty. Also, if you note, the freeze gun is really lame against the core. So, I guess that's what I'll call that, the core. So I really don't recommend the freeze gun. Also, I totally forgot to get the freaking acid gun. I'm a moron. Um... Yeah, that's, that's just fine. Also, I really like that you can redo the the talent points, because if you couldn't, that would be a massive pain in the butt. Have you built some sniper assassins in the past? Well, they are pretty effective. You could have told me this, like, the very first area. I think we had them by level 1-5. Build some of them and try to get a killing streak. This is a pretty out-of-place tutorial level. This is really good advice, but it should have been given a long time ago, is the thing. And contrary to what you might think, the killing streak is not only for the assassin snipers. It's just for anyone. So the first person to get a 5 killing streak, even if you don't have sniper rifles yet, you complete that objective. They surprisingly got fairly close without any good weaponry or anything. 
Oh, one thing to note. The assassin armor is really cheap. It just requires lots of bounty. Which I don't have yet, so whatever. Also, the sniper rifle is the one gun where you don't particularly need good armor. So, unless you have an assassin helmet to go with it, you can just send them out unarmored. Because they shouldn't be getting shot at, and if they are, they're probably already screwed. Oh, and I want to use the acid gun. I'm using the acid gun. Screw you guys. Acid gun. Go, my minion. Oh. Go, my minion. Let's see how these acid explosions go. I guess when the enemy's all clumped up like this, it might be good. Please live. Hmm. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Not sure how helpful it is at all, though. Also, assassins. Excellent. Sniper assassin. Oh, we already have a killing streak of five. That's quicker than I expected. But yeah, this level is all about just spawning four of these guys, so it's mostly just waiting. Again. Which, I, I wish they would speed up the resource creation on the tutorial things. I also wish they would keep them all together. Because randomly starting out, hey, build some sniper assassin units. It's pretty awkward to be blunt. In the middle of what should be a real level. I'm not sure what those plus tens mean. Do they get... I guess maybe they get more points if they pick up our guys' heads when they have special helmets. Never mind, I have no idea what that means. Okie dokie. More... Sniper rifles. Come on. Oh. More stuff. That's one thing I... A problem I had in the later levels is that these just start to pile up. I get caught up watching the action, and I've already generally upgraded a bunch of stuff, so I just pay less attention to the, this stuff. Ooh, delicious. Acid gun, Captain. And you. And another sniper assassin. Let's go watch, go watch the acid gun guy. Ha, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it seemed, seemed a little helpful there. Yeah, you're not getting past this gun. And I kind of assume if you blow up this core, the gun just keeps shooting, and the guys just keep pouring out. I'm not going to test it for you, though. The levels are designed well enough that that's not generally feasible. Not if you're at least trying to beat the objective, anyway. On this level, if I just avoided snipers and assassins, I could easily do that, probably. Oh, hey, level one. But I don't want to. Okay, rocket soldier. Now, what we want... It's actually this. So we get armor boost and damage boost. Because that helps you all of the time for everything, pretty much. So that's my favorite combo. I am so tired of that energy devices right now. Too bad robots can and yawn. What are you sitting around? I'm sitting around my dorm room. Why do you ask? Get that thing charged up. That's a very personal statement, sir. He's, he's so tired of that energy devices. I'm tired of that energy devices too, sir. Me too, sir. Yeah, just another little bit of poor English. A lot in one statement, too. Which does not help. Where is that energy devices, anyway? I do not even see it. Them. It's. These guys look like frickin' 
furnaces. Freaking furnace heads. Sounds like a racial slur or something. I apologize if you are offended. Um, let's go ahead for the armor, I guess. No acid gun. Always go for the acid gun. Acid is delicious and you shall eat all of it. These things seem like they're an objective, but the problem is, if you have to defeat the enemy anyway, you got to pass through this area a whole bunch anyway, so it's not really anything to worry about. Which is good in that there's not too much effort or anything to worry about, but it's just sort of an unnecessary objective, because you can't really not complete it. And there's honestly nothing you can do to help complete it aside from just play the game properly. But at the same time, it doesn't interfere with gameplay, which is pretty much the most important thing. So, I shouldn't complain too much. It would be sort of interesting if activating this did something, but it clearly doesn't. Like, maybe if it made their enemies spawn faster or slower or something. But it doesn't. Let's hope my acid gun guy makes it far enough. Oh, hey, he got the charge. Probably means he's going to die. Yep. He dies the moment I say that. Wonderful. Captain. Let's give you a freeze gun, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Juggernaut fight! Nobody wins in a Juggernaut fight. That guy has a rocket launcher! That jerk face! He must have gotten that rocket launcher perk. I suppose he's smarter than I am. Well, maybe not. I'm guessing the rocket launcher is an instant kill for every enemy. Which... Would make it unique. None of the other weapons do do that. Not even the acid gun. Actually, it seemed to be multiple rockets. I'll have to observe that when I see another one. I'm actually kind of interested in that. More acid guns. Come on, spawn, Captain Hat. Oh right, I'm missing... I keep waiting for my special armor to appear, but I just remembered I disabled that perk. See, it probably would not appear. Shut up, humidifier. No one cares what you have to think. Okay? Frickin' uppity humidifiers. Assassin freeze gun is like the stupidest combination. Don't do that. This is also a stupid one. There you go. Oops. Well, crap. Yeah, that's why you generally want to wait a little bit till... If you wait till one guy passes the core, you can drop both items. Without them picking up one and not the other. Because if they pick up just armor and no weapon, or vice versa, they're not very useful. And yeah, see, that shotgun just does not seem very good. Because especially with the terrain, half the bullets go nowhere. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Captain Acid Gun. That should be like a freaking comic. Captain Acid Gun meets the Punisher. Go, Captain Acid Gun. Kill them in the face. Hmm. No, Captain Acid Gun! Oh, hey, you have to beat them, and they have the uh, infinite ammo. Or do they? The gun stopped. Anyway, I'm being distracted. That's not what I intended. Whatever, just drop everything out. These, you can actually get to spawn pretty quick. The spray gun and armor one. But I honestly avoid that because then it's too much clicking, and I'm a lazy SOB. So I like to get everything down to around 22 seconds, 
Because then most stuff will spawn together. Then you can just spam click and be a lazy SOB like me. And who doesn't want to be a lazy SOB? Am I right? Guys? And a sniper assassin. So we charge the energy, devi energy device to absolutely no consequence. And there's absolutely no way you could possibly charge the energy device without killing this base in any feasible situation. Oh hey, freeze gun time. I'm not sure why I'm bothering with a freeze gun, because I need to attack, and the freeze gun is not good at that. If the enemy is sending a lot of juggernauts or heavily armored units, then the freeze gun is okay. But if they're sending a lot of heavily armored units, the acid gun is also a good choice. So I'm not sure why you would ever prefer the freeze gun over the acid gun. Especially since it costs so many more so much more bounties, and I think otherwise the cost is the same. And as you can see I have a massive pileup of stuff. There we go. Oh, hey, they're advancing. That is not good. You are not allowed to advance. No Game Boy Advance for you. Hmm. You seem to be at a sort of stalemate. I guess those grenades aren't instant kill. Maybe it just depends on how much splash damage they get. Oh great, a sniper um, freeze gun. That's that's bloody useful. Come on, I want more acid guns. Stop melting my guys. It's the rudest thing you can do. Freaking in my base melting my dudes. It's inappropriate and rude. Yeah, they really like their better weapons, don't they? Do 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 do. And my guys keep charging themselves for whatever reason, which is probably extremely unsafe. But I guess they're going to die anyway. Ninety-nine percent of oh crap! They are coming very unfortunately close. I guess I should be getting more of the cheap stuff, even though I don't like it. Oh great, I made another freeze gun assassin. That's always fun. I think the assassins do die a little quicker. Which would make sense, I guess. Still don't like it. Acid gun. Prepare for justice. Judge Dredd style justice with an acid gun in your face. I don't think Judge Dredd has ever used an acid gun, but he really should. See, look at that. Uh, don't look at that, though, with him shooting the ground. My boys need better aim. And by boys, I mean robots. I'm not sure if they have a definitive sex. Definitive robot sex. Only on YouTube. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Actually, I'm pretty sure someone definitely wants to see that. But I don't want to meet that person or persons, though. You know, if you want definitive robot sex, you can... You enjoy that in your own home. I don't need to hear about it. Also, the gun seems to have deactivated, even though it doesn't have a registered number of shots. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, or if the enemy just never shows how many shots it has left. Because mine always does. So I do not know. As you can see, the levels tend to drag on a bit more as you go on. And I've never beaten it, so I don't know how much longer this game is. So I was sort of thinking of just doing a walkthrough only and no talkiness, but... I am doing the talkiness, so whatever. Talkiness. I'm also waiting, stupidly, on more acid gun. 
Also, whoa, 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 whoa. That's gonna take forever. Uh, more spray gun and more of that thing. More everything. I think we're getting close, though. Except they're pushing forward. Freaking butt faces, and they're not dying. I hate butt faces that don't die. They're only slightly worse than butt faces that do die. But yeah, once we... Yeah, 28%. They're pretty much gone. Once I get an acid gun up there, or two, it should be good. I do have an acid gun coming, don't I? Did I lose my acid gun guy already? I think I did, which is lame. Well, that sucks. So let's just keep killing him. There we go. Kill it. Kill it. Oh. There you go. Snipers, I love them. You can't not love a sniper. I think it's illegal. There we go. Well, that was amazingly long. I did not intend this level or this video to take nearly this long. So next time, level three, four.